Hello, good morning mga kahagod and fellow printers around the world. I'd like to show you my uh, latest innovation in uh, stretching the screen mess on the frame. On this table, I have built my screen stretcher that can be used also in uh, making my frames. It goes this way. I have this uh, male frame. It's just uh, made of uh, plywood at the moment, but uh, it's already working. And uh, with this frame, I put in a series of nails around the perimeter with exactly one inch apart. So, this is the male frame and uh, my ply with the top is the female frame wherein I have made uh, uh, holes exactly falling under the points of these, uh, the nails so that when you place it, the nails go inside the holes. So, it goes this way. I, uh, and putting the uh, screen mesh on this uh, male frame uh, first initial uh, preparation is that uh, I uh, fix the corners first with a uh, uh, staple gun so all the four corners at least uh, uh, tightly so that uh, only uh, a little tightening is uh, needed. So to uh, make this uh, stretched, you take the uh, opposite corners and then push it on the nails like that. It's very easy and that uh, when I uh, made uh, my, uh, uh, when I stretch my screen mesh, it only takes around the seven minutes to complete. Uh, just uh, I want you to be careful with the nails uh, because you might be punctured. But uh, with experience, you can feel that uh, where the location of the nails are that uh, you can easily avoid so I'm now going on the long side first uh, on the middle first either going down or up it's up to you but, uh, it's better that you start the middle okay if you take the opposite sides you have to stretch it so that uh, in the final stretching only a little effort uh, will be needed to uh, stretch it uh, to its uh, maximum. Now that I have uh, put everything on the nails, I am now going to place it on the, uh, the frame. Assuming that uh, this is a blank frame, I put it like this. And then, okay. Oh, by the way, ah, by the way, you need to puncture the uh, where the holes of the machine bolts are, so that uh, it will go through huh? when you place the uh, machine bolts. Okay. Next step is uh, putting it exactly where the frame is. Okay. The frame is inside already. The next step is that uh, you put these uh, machine bolts with this, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, handle, knobs, little knobs. to 
uh, turn the opposite side. By the way, there, there are nuts below the uh, surface of this uh, table and uh, it tightens these bolts. Uh, for maximum tightening, you can go as deep as uh, the level of the, uh, the table and it's the maximum it can get. It will help if you push uh, the corners here, but if you have uh, timber, a uh, very solid timber, no, it will be very strong and go down at the corners as well. So this one, we already have. So the screen is now already tighten and still have some uh, space here you don't have to worry about the sound because uh, it's the screen mesh that's being stretched and there it is you can either wet this thing the screen mesh so that uh, it won't be uh, uh, what do you call it? stress too much but, uh, at times I don't uh, wet it anymore and uh, you can see that uh, it's already stressed the next thing is that you either put glue here or uh, uh, you need the staple gun it's up to you what I do is that uh, I glue everything and then just put the uh, uh, tucker here at uh, some strategic strategic points just for me to know if the uh, if the uh, screen uh, the um, the glued uh, mesh is uh, moving or not. So this one is already. 100%. I hope you enjoy and then get some tricks in uh, making your screen stretcher. Thank you very much.